Hey, welcome back. I'm just going to give you a quick update on my shoulder surgery. Um, this is Sunday afternoon. I had a Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., so it's been four and a half days roughly. And um, some of the things I learned off of YouTube prior to taking my surgery, which I'm trying to pass on, anybody else has to have this. Um, everybody said to get this pad, and I looked around. A lot of people found a good deal on them with Craigslist, uh, not Craigslist, but eBay. And I checked around, uh, knew some people worked at hospitals and stuff, and, and the hospital that um, did my surgery, they always used the Bregg brand, B-R-E-G. But um, other people had other brands, and they all liked them. But I thought I'd just go ahead and go with that round. And, but buying them online without buying them used was going to cost me just as much as buying them through the uh, hospital. Since insurance didn't pay for it, I had to pay for it. But I figured I wanted something good, and uh, because I'm going to use it here, and I'm going to have to use it on other, like if I have a hip or knee replaced or something, which I need them both done. So, so I got that, and it's just been on the whole time. It actually, since the hospital, I bought it through the hospital, they actually strapped this on me right after the surgery. And then I got this um, sleeve that's padded away from my body, and. I learned on another video about cutting the sleeve all the way out on some old shirts except leave about eight or ten inches at the bottom connected so it don't just flop open and I've done that and it's worked out well so appreciate everybody's giving me you know good advice um, one thing they said is they did do a nerve block on me and they said one thing you have to do is take the the pain medicine, prescription pain medicine, before the nerve block wears off. And that is a huge truth. Uh, my anesthesiologist said as soon as I got home, which had been like, you know, probably one or something in the afternoon, uh, time we picked up the prescriptions, got home, he said start taking the uh, pain medicine then, which meant I would have took it then, again, before, because it's supposed to wear off maybe after, sometime after 10. And it wore off about 10 o'clock at night. And I was taking one pill, I said one to two pills every six hours. And I was taking one pill every six hours. And that nerve block wore off and I didn't think I was taking, I thought I was taking, you know, uh, candy or something. It was, it was miserable. I was in pain. I was just sitting there just, I could not get any kind of ease. And uh, it got about midnight and my wife gave me another pill, which got me that, with the first, the one I took then and the other one kind of worked together and got me a little bit, dopey and um, then I woke up about two in the morning and I took two more and knocked myself back out and then the next day I just stayed on them uh, I was taking two pills every four hours Thursday but then by Friday I was just using I ibuprofen I mean I just weaned myself right off of them it was it was like it was real intense down to nothing I'm out here on the front porch and there's cars going by you'll see them show up going by right about now there he goes. <laughs> um, so, but I wanted to tell you about this, and, and I got a recliner, and I'm sleeping in my recliner, which isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I have a handle on mine, and it's on my right side, and my surgery's on my right side, so I couldn't work my, my leg part up and down because my handle, I couldn't use it. So I found a two foot by two foot, um, that's a U-Haul moving box down in the basement. And it was empty, and I just taped it up real good and put two cushions on top. And my wife put, it's on a hardwood floor, so she put a, a, a towel under it so it would slide without scratching the floor. And I just keep my legs up on it, and I'm actually sleeping pretty good with it. I'm just going crazy sitting around. I want to get out and do something. But, you know, I have to, I have to just take it easy. I go back in about four days. They supposed to take the stitches out. It's got those stereo strips and stuff. And then uh, I think in eight or ten days after that, I start physical therapy. And then I think I was supposed to wear this sling for six weeks. But my wife said the doctor told her. Um, and then it takes six months for it to heal. Mine's actually going to take a little longer because um, I had two torn tendons that tore completely away. And one of them it was tore away and they put the anchor in and stitched it back down to the bone. And the other one was tore away and split. So they had to 
stitch it up this way and then anchor it to the bone. So he had to put a whole bunch more sutures or stitches, whatever you call them, in there. He put some pictures. I got some pictures. He took pictures on the inside of there. Um, I may post one of those later. I don't know. But uh, I just want to let you know, if you're going through this, uh, definitely want the, uh, the cold pack, whatever brand you get. And uh, and then uh, you know, you're going to have this sling on, which is really gets on your nerves after a while because you can't move your arm. And you're supposed to have it on there, and they put a little ball on the thing to squeeze, I guess, to give you something to do. I don't really know what the things are. And then, um, uh, and then the shirt being tore open all but the bottom eight inches helped to get go on over top of everything, and that's pretty handy to get your shirt off and on. Learned that on the different one. And then sleep it on the recliner, and if you can't work the button or something on your side and you don't want to buy another recliner we actually thought about doing that because our recliners are over 20 years old uh, but we didn't do it and so if you can make yourself some kind of an ottoman put some cushions on it you'll be set especially if you can you know just kick your seat back in an angle and then uh and we if we moved the chair i used to have the end table on the right side of my chair but I can't do nothing with my right arm so we actually swapped before the surgery we swapped the end table and the chair so everything's on my left side so that helped so um, and then definitely take the because when you come home that pain block you'll have some feel you know, you'll feel some tingling in your arm and weirdness but it's when it wears off oh my goodness it was I was not prepared for that and uh, especially because I was taking the pain pills so Start taking the pain pills way before it wears off, and just plan on taking them. But it's really weird. I mean, just you know, uh, 24 hours of pain pills or less, and I didn't even hardly have to. I just switched over, over to ibuprofen. I maybe had taken one or two pain pills at night, and I'm not sure I really needed them. I just took them so I could try to maybe sleep a little better. But uh, and I took a whole lot of uh, because that's any kind of narcotics going to clog you up. And so, I mean, I was taking, you name it. You can pick up, when you pick up the medicine, pick up whatever you want, stool softeners, fiber, you pick it, because yeah, you won't go, because I didn't go for like three days or two days or something. And uh, it just, it's, it's harsh on your system. So, um, so anyway, that was all I had to say. And, uh, just trying to get you prepared if you're going through it and I'll let you know as I get through my stitches and physical therapy and all that how it goes So hope you have a blessed day and take care. Bye. Bye